Welcome to Impact Farming, where we introduce you to the people and ideas that will have a massive impact on your farming operation. Brought to you by Farm Marketer. Sit down, start the engine, and let's roll with today's show. With an ever-increasing demand for potassium due to increasing crop yields, there is a need for a better source of potassium with improved availability and uptake potential. Alpine K-Tech is the most plant-available form of potassium and is able to enter the plant quickly and easily. As a foiler application, K-Tech is tank-mixable with many crop protection products, thereby increasing the grower's resource use efficiency. K-Tech offers balanced fertility and an added energy source for the plant. The latest development of premium crop nutrition is doing a lot more with a lot less for your crops. Learn more at www.alpinepfl.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Impact Farming Show. As you can tell, we have our two amazing guests from last week back once again to talk about hail insurance and, in particular, Egg Direct. And by the end of this interview, Bruce and Ellen will have answered the question, what the hell is the difference between them I like it. and the competition? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like so, it. <laughs> welcome back, Bruce Lowe and Ellen Grant. Let's just make sure the audience is familiar with you guys and your company. So share that once again, and then we will roll into sharing what you guys are doing and how you are innovating in hail insurance. Well, again, Bruce Lowe, CEO of Ag Direct Hail, Tracy, thank you for having us back. I thought after last week, there wasn't much of a shot of us coming back, but- It was close. <laughs> it was, I guess you had enough people call in to say, get them back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Ag Direct, as we mentioned last week, online direct we we started and now we're mainly exclusively the only and exclusively online direct private hail insurance provider on the prairies and we're awfully proud of what we've accomplished in our first six years serving the hard-working farmers of, of saskatchewan manitoba and alberta yeah hi guys i'm ellen grant i'm the general manager for egg direct hail insurance and i've been with the company since day one so yeah right from the beginning Excellent. Thank you. So Tracy, just as a reminder, because we missed this last week, Ellen, it's, it's a must see. It's Poor Ellen. Whole act that I mentioned last week about hail. It's like a 10 minute stand up routine. Bust a gut laughing. She does it. She does it at yuck yucks. Can we try to save some time at the end so she can put this, the, the, it's, it's, it's a must see. Some you don't want to miss. We missed it last week, so Ellen will I know. I know. You should have heard Ellen after last week. She's going, how, how did you talk so long? I didn't get to do my act. And I was yeah, like, you took all my airtime. But really, I think I, mean, I, think I the promise this week I'm going to keep it shorter to see if we can fit it in. Yeah, I think I need some new material, though. Jokes are getting a bit stale. but I tell you, how you make hail insurance funny is... I have a talent. <laughs> I think you guys work well together. <laughs> Okay, so you shared a little bit about Egg Direct Hail, but let's dive in a little bit deeper about who you guys are and what sets you apart from the competition in this space. I'm going to say one more thing here. My goal on the Impact Farming Show is to bring the people and ideas that will impact Canadian farmers. And from what I've heard and learned about you guys. You guys are those people and ideas. Anything that can save farmers time, save them money, but also be there when they need coverage, that is amazing in my book. So you have the stage. What sets you apart from the competition? Well, that's a, that's a great question. We love that question. Uh, you know, uh, if I can take you back about 10 years now, Tracy, when this whole idea was conceived, I had met someone that's very senior in the insurance industry. In fact, he worked with the, the government programs in, in hail insurance. And I got to know him on a personal level. And um, it was right around the time that Geico was getting big. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more in your car insurance. I love that ad. Yeah. So I said, I remember talking to him, I said, how, how can they just say that? So cavalier that we're going to save you 15% in your car insurance. He goes, well, it's because they, they cut out the broker. They cut out the middleman. 
and they're saving, uh, you know, farmers money. They, they pass the savings on to, did I just say farmers? I didn't mean farmers. I meant car, car insurance. We knew what you meant. We're yeah. getting there. We're getting there. So I said, and I love that concept because that's who I am. If I can do it myself, I always feel like I can do it faster, better. It's just a mindset. Unfortunately, it's a weakness. Um, but I feel like I can do it better than somebody else. And, and if I can, and especially if I'm going to save money, I'm going to do it. So when we got in a little bit deeper, and I understood about what he does in his career um, as, as a senior insurance guy, I thought, let's talk about, focus about hail insurance. What about doing that? Because I knew, and he told me, that brokers, the middleman in, in hail insurance provide, they make about 12% commission on every policy they sell. It's hidden in the cost. So you buy a hail insurance policy, $10,000, you give them a check for $10,000, he sends or she sends the policy into whatever company they decide to put you with, and they turn around and send uh, $1,200 of your money back to that person for, for filling out the application. And then you, you know what you get for giving him $1,200, not even knowing it, you get a pair of work gloves or you get a bottle of Crown Royal at Christmas time or you get a case of beer for your $1,200. And, uh, you know, we just, I just looked at that and said, wait a second, that doesn't seem right. What if we cut that person out of the equation? Let's innovate this. Let's streamline this whole thing. And there's other costs undoubtedly we squeezed out of it. We've squeezed costs out of the loss adjusting side, specifically on how we how we uh, file claims and how we are process process our claim. All of our guys use handheld tablets to uh, assess the damage, so we squeezed out all these costs costs that ultimately a farmer now does not have to pay in their hail insurance. That was the model. So once we built that and we presented that to the hardworking farmers of the prairies, guess what happened? They loved it. They're going, wait a second. So I can go online. I can do this. I can buy. And, I can do it. And, and, and of course, our competition was like, I hope they go away. I'm not looking over there. Please go away. Next year, we're back. Oh, my God, they're back. I hope they go away. This online direct thing, we kept coming back. And we kept getting bigger. In fact, we've been the fastest growing company six years in a row. They were hoping we would finally go away. But when you've got a business proposition for prairie farmers that says, you save some money by doing it yourself, but not just that, you get a quality product. The proposition was just too good. So love it. Kind of give you a bit of background as to how we're unique and different. Okay. That is fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. So I'm a farmer. I'm watching this. I'm going to finish it right to the end. And then I'm interested in finding out more about you guys and buying hail insurance online. Can you walk me through that? Yes, of course. So as Bruce mentioned with Ag Direct, everything's done online. We've created a website that's super user-friendly and very clear. All you need to do is visit eggdirecttail.com, and then you log in um, with a username and password, and you have access to check our rates. You can create a quote. You can do a full application and walk it right up to the payment point. Um, and, and this gives you an opportunity to really play with numbers. In our, in our previous episode, uh, we, we talked about deductibles and different philosophies of how farmers insure for their specific business needs. And our website makes it really easy for you to do that and play around with the numbers. So, um, and the best part is it's available 24 seven. So especially in, in times today too, when you, maybe you're staying a bit closer to home also too, in the, in the farming community, you don't have a heck of a lot of time this time of year. So a lot of our applications are coming in around 11 o'clock at night because farmers have a chance to sit down mm -hmm. and, uh, and sit at the computer or on their phone and do this. Um, with, with us, the application process is really simple. Everything's automatically calculated for you, which is really nice. You just basically need to know what you're growing and your legal land location. We're talking your township range and meridian, so that information is important to have with you. And uh, you can insure with us up to $500 an acre. So you get to choose that amount. And that, that's up to you and, and your farm. You can play with the numbers. Some crops you might want higher coverage, some you want less. And uh, if you have any questions or you need any help, we have a customer service toll-free number that extends both seven days a week and extends into evenings and weekends because we know that farming is a 24-hour operation and, uh, and, and you might need support um, at, a, at not a nine-to-five time. We also have how-to videos and testimonials and, and lots of information on the website to make sure that you are comfortable with the process. So uh, you can purchase right up until July 31st and um, 
when you submit your application, you can choose from a handful of payment options with us. Everything's done up front. Our most popular payment option is credit card. A lot of people like to get those points, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and then once you submit your application, your policy takes effect the next day at noon. So even on a Friday night, you can plug it in and you'll have coverage the next day at noon, which is really nice. Okay. And um, yeah, that, that's kind of how our program works. Everything's done online, streamlined online. You know, it's interesting, Tracy, because Ellen mentioned so many other things there except price. And mm -hmm. there was some service elements. There was the ease of use, buying online and direct. We're going to get into a little bit about the claims process. But, you know, when I go back in the history of the company, we did focus on rates. You know, that was kind of our conversation, eh, Ellen, for the first three or four years. It was, you know, rates and we got the best rates and because we did. We just, it was just... And then, and then other companies started going, you know what, we've got to figure out a way to compete with Ag Direct on rates. And, um, you know, I, I'm particularly proud because I, I was listening to the radio just last week in, in uh, Saskatoon. And it was a radio station, CJWW, I'll just plug them in. And, you know, for whatever reason, I, I, I was listening about uh, with one of my competitor CEO was on the, on, the, on the station being interviewed. And he said something so interesting that I, uh, that I wrote it down and I wanted to share it with your, with your audience, Tracy, because he said, hail insurance is the one cost that farmers and producers have that has actually gone down over the last five or seven years. Rates have decreased fairly drastically when the first direct competition came on. That's not me saying it. <laughs> That's my competitor saying it. And I love that. So here's, so basically, and I'll remind you, it was six years, and he said around five to seven years ago in the direct model, we're the only direct model uh, that's exclusively online. And what he said there was the rates have come down, and why they came down was very simply this. There was no new competition for years. Everything was just status quo. Everyone was just happy trying to charge farmers as much as they possibly could for hail insurance, and then the kids came on the block. And... We, we were solely focused on rates. Now, what's transitioned since then is everyone's trying to fight for rate and get down there. Well, now you get into a situation where, you know, the rates might be similar, but what about all that other stuff Ellen just talked about from a customer service standpoint? What about the claims handling? How does that done? How easy is it to buy online? If I have a problem, who can I call? Is someone going to pick up the phone? Do they pick up the phone on the weekends? The answer to all that is, we have exceptional service. We have passionate professional claims managers. We pick up the phone <laughs> on the weekends. It's, you do all those little things because as we told you in the last episode, you really don't know the value of the, 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 the hail insurance provider that you have until you have a claim. Yes. So, you know, don't always focus on price. You know, I had one farmer tell me one time at a trade show, he just came up to me and he said, you know what, when I buy a direct, you always think you're getting the cheapest product because you guys are the cheapest out there. But he goes, you know, the other thing is you're the best. How can you be the cheapest and the best? That doesn't make any sense to me. And that's what we've endeavored to do. And that's been our mindset kind of from day one to do. It's, it's, it's let's, be, let's be the best right across the board. And, uh, and I'm awfully proud that our competition is acknowledging that it was Ag Direct that actually helped the prairies bring Farmers, the one cost that, that and, and I'll read it again, that he said, decreased fairly drastically. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That feels good to us. So yeah. I got one other quick story before we move on here. <laughs> I read a trade show. We do, we do trade shows together. And we go to a half a dozen. We do the Edmonton and Saskatoon and Regina and Lethbridge and, and Red Deer, et cetera, and the, and the Manitoba Ag Days. And we're there, and a lot of our customers come by and talk to us. And, and we really, really enjoy that. It's a fun time. For, for our customers to come and engage with us. And um, Ellen sometimes does her comedy show there at the booth. But, <laughs> <You're lucky. laughs> it was about, I think, Ellen, help me out here. It was about our third or fourth year of doing trade shows. So now we're into trade show number 25. Okay. Had a customer come by and go, you know, I wasn't real happy with your adjuster this past year. When he came out, I had Hale and he came out. And I said, wow, well, that's interesting. What happened? And he says, well, he went through everything. And I thought that he was a little bit lower than it should have been. 
And I said, well, listen, if that ever happens, you just call us back out and we would gladly come back out again. He goes, well, I didn't have to because in the end, when I, when I, when I uh, combined, your guy was right. The yield monitor, he ended up paying. Uh, I ended up getting what, what I deserved. So after he walked away, I looked at him and I said, was that our first customer complaint we've had in 25 trade shows? We've ne we never, it was, a, it was a really weird feeling for us to actually have someone say something negative. But then we wrote it off and said, but he really didn't say anything negative because at the end of the day, he told us in the end that we were right with our adjustment. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. No, I can remember that. And like, we've been so fortunate to have, you know, I think it's because of the, the kind of the ethos we've set right from the beginning that like what does set us apart from our competitors is, is how um, just, just every, every position, every person on the egg direct team, whether you're behind a screen in the office or in the field with our adjusters, or if you're representing egg direct, you've got a certain level of integrity and professionalism and, and like just passion for the industry. We know, passion. we know what we're doing is, is making an impact on farmers' bottom lines and their, their peace of mind too, when it comes to insurance. So yeah, so yeah, I do, I do remember a lot of, a lot of great comments from trade shows and connecting with farmers over the years. And I think it just speaks to like, you know, our models a little, was a little innovative at, at the time too, but I think our service has carried us even further too, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. I am going to give you guys a little bit of a pushback. So I'm Techie Tracy. I own a, an online media company, uh, but I'm also a farmer and I know a lot of farmers, right? And it's funny because farmers are super techy, super advanced, contrary to what the public may think. Totally but, agree. Totally but agree. here's the thing. I find in some of these um, business models, innovation, we might be a little bit behind. Like, for example, Amazon and Geico. Now it's coming to the agriculture industry. I've done another episode with a company that was innovating the way you market the grain. So knowing my grandpa's generation, the next generation, us, I could, I could feel, I kind of get this feeling from my audience listening right now. Maybe just a little bit of hesitation. I think we're still accustomed to the boots on the ground, the handshake. So there might be some hesitation. And that's why I just wanted to call that out. Because if we're traditional, going online, yeah, we do it all the time for Amazon, that type of thing. It's new to insurance. Now speak to me about your backing your comp uh, your competitors and the traditional broke brokerage model is backed by x who are you guys backed by what i'm getting at yeah. farmers might want that reassurance when dealing with a new business model is that fair oh gosh we get that question a lot you know because okay. you know you got to remember when we first started tracy you know, we were the new kids on the block. You had brokers out there that were selling these four of our competitors and making a lot of money doing it. Imagine you sell, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars of policy at 12% commission. That adds up to $36,000 that you're putting in your pocket between middle of May and middle of June type of thing. That's a lot of hay, you know, or that's a lot of wheat or oats or however you want to look at it. That's a lot of money. So, um, you know, when, when you looked at that, what was happening is brokers were doing everything they could to protect that. So Alan, we could almost write a book. We heard everything from, Oh, ag direct, they're backed by Russians to, Oh, ag direct, uh, they're, they have all their adjusters quit. Oh, ag direct. That's the company that's going to, you're going to buy online and then one day they're going to disappear. We heard it all <laughs> like literally. So, but when you talk about the safety and security, I think we have, and this is again a personal opinion, we have the best possible um, partner in this whole thing. Allianz, some people call it Alliance, but it's pronounced Allianz. Allianz is the second largest insurance company in the world. They're based in Munich, Germany. So there's three people in this relationship. There's you, the customer, the farmer. There's Ag Direct Hale, and then we're backed by Allianz in Munich. They're a $100 billion company, okay? 
we're no safer than anybody else. If you buy hail insurance in this in, on the prairies and you get hail and you have a policy, you're going to get paid. End of story. So I'm not professing we're any different than anyone else in that perspective. We're all just as safe as the next one, and we're all really safe. The biggest difference, however, is with Ag Direct, we only have one reinsurance partner, only one backer. Our competitors, most of them have multiple insurance companies backing them. Okay. For, for just because the, everyone likes to spread risk. Right. So they might have an insurance company backing a little bit of hail and a little bit of life insurance, a little bit of car insurance, a little bit of travel insurance, and they have their fingers. And, and Allianz is no different. They, they, they have a big portfolio as well. The difference is they like our model so much and they like who we are and the way we represent them so much that they're willing just to be the single backers of Ag Direct. Wonderful situation. What, what should that mean for the farmer? And I'll tell you very simply. We had a situation last year where drought, there was a lot of drought on certain parts of the prairies. We had customers put hail insurance coverage on, started the call because they were losing the crop and now they've invested in hail insurance and they have no crop. Oh. I'll start coming. What are we going to do? Well, it's simple. One phone call to Allianz to say, we've got this situation. A lot of our customers have, and this was end of June-ish, early July, as I recall. And we, we had a lot of customers and, and Allianz said, so what do you want to do? And I said, well, they don't have a crop. I think we, we've got to give their money back. We always ask ourselves, what's the right thing to do? What did they say? Give their money back, of course. Okay. So we go out and we gave 100% of their money back, refunded. We, in fact, email them and tell them, if you have drought acres and you want to cancel them, we're going to give you 100% of your money. If another company needed to do that, they would have to go to five, six, seven different insurance backers. Are you guys okay if we give money back? Well, I don't know. What did they say? Well, I don't know. We'll talk, talk to them. Talk, and they, they, they gotta, it's, it's a tough way to get a decision. You know? And with us, it's one phone call, and, and we, we can do what's right. And in this situation last year, it was to give the money back. So I didn't mean to be so long-winded, but that is really a, a really key partner. Uh, you know, to have Allianz, our, our key partner, is very critical. And doesn't seem like it should mean anything to our customers, but it does. I appreciate that. And just like I said, I mean, farmers are techie, but there's still a very traditional feeling out there for many of the farmers. And I think as generations change and new command comes in, that changes as well, right? And I bet you even in a year from now, this conversation is going to be different. Five years? What? We were doing an episode about buying insurance online? Why? Right? <laughs> It just changes so quick. Who does? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent point. Excellent point. Perfect. So proof is in the pudding. Let's say I buy the insurance and hail comes. I know we chat a little bit about this in the other episode, but I want to walk through your process start to end. So proof is in the pudding. Let's chat about hail claims and how that works. Sure. Yeah, I can give a quick rundown if you want, yeah. Bruce, and then if you want to speak to the track record here. Um, so with, yes. with, with a claim with Egg Direct, it's really streamlined and straightforward. Um, you, you have a hail situation and you have to file your claim online. Um, and it's really easy to do with us. You can do it from your smartphone or on your computer. We have a really simple file a claim page. Your policy appears and it shows you your, the fields that you've been insured with us. And you just let us know which ones you believe were hit by hail. Let us know the date and time of the storm to your, to your best knowledge and any information as well that you want us to know. Like you're gonna be at the lake for a couple of days, call me on my cell or, or whatever you, you wanna let our claims team know. You submit the claim and you get a copy of that by email right away. So you got that, that handled right away. And getting hail is never fun. It's always a stressful, disappointing, frustrating time. Filing your claim, contacting your insurance company should be the easiest part of that day. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we make it very straightforward to do. Once our, once our team has your claim, the ball's in motion. Uh, our claims manager assesses, uh, looks, looks at the new claims that are coming in. They reach out to you within 48 hours to discuss any questions you might have and then arrange the time for us to come out. And, um, and that's, that's picking a date that works for you because we want you to be there. We want you to see how the adjustment's done. It's very important. Um, and, and our, our, 
our adjusters, uh, I know Bruce has spoken to this already. We're pretty proud of our team. Our, our team, they, they know what they're doing. They retrain every year just to make sure they're up to snuff with what's going on in the industry. And, uh, and they're good communicators. So we're, we're pretty proud of our team because um, they carry, they, honestly, they might be the first person from Egg Direct that you meet face to face because we're online. So it's very important. We're proud of that team. And anyway, so they get out there, whether it's a, a group of them or just, uh, just one, depending on the size of your claim. Everything's handled and a proof of loss is generated. That's your formal statement of the damage. And that's a, the agreed upon document that you sign. And, uh, and then that comes to our office from, for us, it's right on their tablet. It goes straight up to our head office electronically for review. And then we're, we're aimed to get you payment by direct deposit or report check within 48 hours. So we make sure that that is as quick as possible as well. And then I think, yeah, Bruce, I don't know if you want to speak to this the egg direct concept with, um, with the track record of. Yeah, you, that was an excellent synopsis, Ellen. And yeah, like from, from our perspective, you know, we talked about, Ellen talked about the passion of the adjusters. You got to understand that, you know, most of our adjusters, Tracy, have come from other companies and we get calls all the time. You know, are you hiring adjusters? And I, if the first thing I say is no, we're not hiring adjusters. We're hiring great adjusters. So unless you consider yourself a great adjuster, a strong communicator, then we're not interested. And, and that's when I think we have a stable full of guys that have worked for other companies that said, you know what? You know, understanding, Tracy, that just like with farmers, the words out about ag direct service and claims handling and passion and enthusiasm, the words out amongst our, the adjuster community. And the best of the best want to come work for ag direct. I can say this, we've never lost an adjuster on our team that we wanted to have back. And that's a really important point to have. When you build, you know, every year we, we tactically add, you know, certain elements to the team. And if they meet our high level of standard or stringent, you know, screening process, then, then they're, you know, we're fortunate to have them and, and they're fortunate to be on our team. So, but in, in six years now, almost 5,000 claims, not one single appraisal, meaning that we've settled with every one of our customers every single time. And I can't say it factually because I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn confident there's not another company industry that would come close to that kind of track record. And that for a farmer is very important. Leave price out of it for a second. Price is important, sure. But what are the other things important? And we've talked about it, we've hammered it a few times, and that is when you get that claim, how you how you taken care of. And if, if our customers go online and they read our testimonial tab, where we have 80 to 100 testimonials, you'll see a lot of comments there about our adjusting and our adjusting process and our claim handling process and how quickly they got the check and how easy it was and, and all those things. And it just feels good to us. And all it does is fuel us to do even better and faster and with more passion, more enthusiasm. And, and we can't, you know, it, coming into April or any May, we can't wait for the season to start. We just can't wait. And I know our adjusters right now are waiting for that next, uh, you know, uh, the first claims. Yeah. You mentioned, and I hate to run on as well, Tracy, but you know, we have very stringent COVID uh, protocols in place for our adjusters to keep our customers safe as well as our adjusters. They're, we've listed them on the website, but we understand it's a critical time and we've got protocols in place to make sure that everyone remains safe, but it doesn't compromise the quality, the efficiency and the thoroughness of our adjusting. Yeah. And just, just to add to that too, I think just to state, we always like to, to measure ourselves to make sure we're, you know, our customers are, are finding that we're, we're meeting their standards when it comes to claims adjustment. So in a recent survey, we had 93% of our respondents say that they were satisfied with their, with the way their claim was handled. So in an industry where there has historically been a bit of, uh, you know, not, not great numbers like that. So we're just pretty, we're pretty proud. And honestly, those, those percentages are pretty common for us year to year. We're always, um, doing a survey to make sure that, that we that we keep up with that. So we're pretty proud. Just kind of, kind of a statement on, on how our, our claims handling is done. Excellent. Thank you guys for sharing. You can tell you're so passionate about what you do. And I love people just trying to serve farmers, make lives easier. We covered a lot of ground. I feel between the hail insurance 101 episode and this episode, I don't think there is a question left unanswered. And maybe that's a great segue. If they do have questions or want to learn more about Egg Direct Hail, where can they reach you guys? Well, simply just, just uh, I'm gonna start by saying call us because we love talking to customers. Uh, our toll free number is 
686-5596, or they can uh, email us at info at agdirecthail.com, or just visit agdirecthail.com, set up an email and a password, there's no obligation whatsoever, and start the process of checking some rates, putting an application together, and kicking the tires, all without obligation. So, yeah. uh, Tracy, before I get an, I, I, I want to say to you and Impact uh, Farming, I, 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 the work with you, the level of professionalism that you have in the organization has been awesome. Um, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love finding, I can't even say it enough either. I love finding like-minded companies, businesses, people that are there to serve farmers. So I'm happy to bring you guys on. Before we part ways, any final notes? You shared a lot of stuff there. I'll just do, I'll just do a plug here too for, for social media. Like you said, connecting and sharing information. We're, we're on all the channels, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube too. So look out for us there. We've got some awesome how-to videos um, as well. And, and we're always sharing quotes and, and, and testimonials as well. So yeah, check us out. We, we're happy to help reach out in any way you want. But the website is really straightforward, but we're always here to help too as well. Excellent. A parting joke, Ellen. You got anything? Yeah, no, I think I might have to, you know, save that for another episode, guys. We're not sick of hail insurance yet. Oh, my goodness. We're going to oh, let you so off the hook? Yeah, so maybe. I think you did such a stellar job with the interview. You can't top that anyways. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for taking your time out of your very busy day and joining us to add the value to our audience. And thank you guys for joining us. If you liked the episode as much as I did, like it, subscribe, and please share it out so that it reaches other farmers. Thanks again, guys, and see you next week. Bye. Thanks, Tracy. Bye now. Tracy. You've been listening to Impact Farming. For more great episodes and articles designed to help you manage and grow your farming operation, head on over to farmmarketer.com. Don't forget to sign up while you're there. We will see you on the next episode.